Good win. Uh, anytime you can win in this league, hard to do. Uh, it's a good thing. And, and um, that our guys showed their resiliency in the second half, came out and played, played better football than we did in the first half. Obviously, the first half wasn't up to our standard. Um, so uh, we've got a lot to learn from the tape, and uh, we'll do that starting tomorrow. Um, and with that, I'll open up to your questions. You say it's safe to say Tredavious White was the spark your team needed today. Yeah, he played a heck of a game. Absolute heck of a game. Um, looked like he covered well for the most part. Um, took the ball away in the red zone down there. Um, and, then, and then he got the takeaway, the, the uh, punch out as well. So um, big, time, big time energy boost to us and um, played at a high level. His defense looked like they were rotating corners through some kind of rotation they were doing. I mean, aside from that, it looked like John Brown was winning consistently when he was matched up against a couple of those younger players. Did you guys see that at halftime? And was that part of exploiting them maybe defensively? Because that touchdown was gigantic, and yeah. it looked like you got a matchup that you wanted. There. Yeah, it was a good ball by Josh, good protection. And, and John had been winning, to your point. Um, and, you know, John's, John works works at it during the week and prepares himself. And, and so it's good to see us get him the ball in that situation. How important was that 98 drive touchdown by the offense, both offense for confidence and to give the defense a rest? You say how big was it? You yeah. Say, yeah. Uh, no, it was big. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I mean, complimentary football that we talk about of that type of drive, that's not an easy drive to, to play, to do, and, and, and continue to play clean football all the way down. And then, um, you know, the defense get, gets a chance to get, get a rest as well. and. Um, look, a lot to learn from this game, I thought, um, on both sides and really all three phases. So, um, But good to get a win, good to get a win at home in front of our fans and appreciate them hanging with us like they did. And, and uh, it's a tough group right there, and, and, and our guys stayed tough throughout the game. You say the first half wasn't up to your standards. Uh, specifically, what do you mean? Well, I mean, I'll look at the film to go to go in more detail for you tomorrow, but just overall discipline, uh, overall execution, overall fundamentals. Uh, we can just start there on the surface right now. What is it that there's something about Josh where there's an opportunity that comes up, whether it's off a turnover like Trey or something like clicks in, and then he's just he's on a streak, and he's six for six for 73 yards on the touchdown drive that goes 98 yards, and then the next one after that he's four or five. What is it about his rhythm that all of a sudden it kicks into gear and then he's rolling? Yeah, I don't know. It's probably a better question for Josh, but you know, to your point, he's he's done well in those situations and. Um, look, he's a young guy, right? So he'll learn from this tape, and um, you always want to build on the positives and uh, and celebrate those, and make sure we're learning from the things that weren't up to par. And um, but yeah, to your point, I thought you know we the, the biggest thing was we got the takeaway, but what do you do with it? What do you do with the short field? And, and we capitalized on it. Coach, sorry if you asked this already. It came in late. Uh, how exciting is it to see Ed Oliver get his first career NFL sack? I know he was dying to get that. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's great. I'm, I'm even more excited we won the game, uh, first and foremost. But for Ed to, to uh, contribute in that way, um, he's worked hard. And um, we're going to continue to encourage him to continue to work at it because good things come to, pe to those who work hard. And uh, everything in this league uh, is, le is earned. And how about all the uh, roughing the passer calls you guys had today? Is that something that... Uh, you can look at and correct. Well, we're gonna we're gonna try as uh, you know as as hard as we can to get those corrected. I mean, any penalty, one penalty is too many penalties. Um, so we've got to take a hard look at that film and 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 learn from it. Like I said, and that's one of the areas we'll look at. Sean, can you elaborate maybe on the I don't know maybe the opportunistic nature of your team, really on both sides of the ball, where you know that critical sequence, obviously after the big field goal. Um, you're able to kick it in on both sides. It's like a characteristic of this team. You can point to that in a lot of games with different examples. Yeah, you know, I thought Jordan Phillips made a heck of a play uh, to change it down there, change momentum a little bit. And um, we had a chance to get, a f get the fumble then on that play, and we missed it. And then to come back, and I think a couple of plays later, Tre Davis had the interception, and then we drive the you know, length of the field. And, and so, you know, if you use the word opportunistic, that's fine. I think, you know, just, just to me, the DNA of our guys, you know, the, the, the resiliency, the toughness, the mental toughness of our players, never want to be down in a game. Um, and, and so you could see the look in their eye at halftime, that they were, they were disappointed with themselves and what had unfolded during the first half, and, and they, were, um, they were convinced that they, that they had to do something about it. And so um, that was good to see them, them rally together. Uh, it wasn't anything I did, it was everything they did. The boos that they heard going off the field at halftime. Think that resonated in the locker room? Um, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. 